Now we shall study third part of our chapter of chemical bonding in which we shall study hydrogen bond that is H bonding. This is a unique type of bonding formed by H atom only. This was discovered by Huggins, Latimer and Rodbush. The important features of hydrogen bond are as follows. Number 1. It's a weak bond formed by H atom between two highly negative atoms, fluorine, oxygen and nitrogen. In some rare cases, chlorine and carbon are also capable of forming hydrogen bonds with one of the electronegative atoms, F, O, or N. The electronegativities are F equal to 4, O equal to 3.5, N equal to 3.1 on Pauling scale. Second point, hydrogen bonds are typically shown as dotted lines between the atoms. Thus, it can be considered as a bridge between the two highly electronegative atoms, say X and Z, such that H atom is already bonded covalently with either X or Z and then binds itself through the weak electrostatic attractions to the other atom as shown below. Third point, in fact a hydrogen bond is a weak electrostatic attraction between positive pole of hydrogen and lone pair on the other electronegative atom, for example Z in the above figure. Fourth, therefore greater is the positive charge on H stronger is the hydrogen bond. The strength of H bond is generally less than 25 kilojoule per mole. But in most of the cases, it ranges from 10 to 40 kilojoule per mole. And in some rare cases, for example in HF2 anion, its strength is even more than 40 kilojoule per mole. Number 5. Generally, the XH distance is less than HZ distance. Sixth, hydrogen bonds are of two types A. Intramolecular and B. Intermolecular. Let us first discuss A. Intramolecular hydrogen bonding. It means hydrogen bonding between the two highly negative atoms within the same molecule or ion. For example, the first example is orthonitrophenol, whose structure is here. Second example is chloral hydrate whose structure is given over here. This is a typical example in which a H bond is formed between chlorine and oxygen atom. Third is maleic ion. It's the anion of maleic acid. The structure is given here. Fourth is anion of caros acid. We know caros acid is H2SO5. It has two different types of H. One H is attached to oxygen, 
the other one is attached to peroxide group we have already learned it that the first h to be liberated as proton is that which is attached to the oxygen and not to the peroxide group therefore h2so5 dissociates to give hso5 an ion and a proton look here into the structure of hso5 an ion there is intramolecular hydrogen bonding then fifth example is 111333 hexafluoro propane 22 diol this is the iupac name of the compound given below and here we find that there are two hydrogen bonds in the molecule between chlorine and oxygen sixth example is enolic form of aceto acetic ester a a e aceto acetic ester has two tautomeric forms keto form and enolic form it is the enolic form that involves intramolecular hydrogen bonding as shown by the structure given here seventh example is potassium hydrogen fluoride that is khf2 solid this is ionic compound it consists of k plus and hf2 minus ion as shown here hf2 minus ion involves hydrogen bonding 